Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Nancy Pelosi counted says the quiet part out loud, and I agree with it. This one time, I 100% agree with Nancy Pelosi because she said, not me. She says that she is more a reptilian and cold-blooded. This stands for all Democrats and majority of the damn Republicans. Remember, in the last election, they said we were going to lose 30 or 40 seats. What? I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We, were, we know our, we're different from the presidential. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Others are winning the whole country. <laughs> Reptilian, cold-blooded, these are the races we have to win. She's not the only one that's reptilian. All of them are. And if you learn from Burr Rabbit, you don't put a snake in your person. You don't put a snake close to you. You don't put a snake in the bed with you. Because if you get bit, you knew it was a snake that's on you. Now these same reptilians are trying to sell to us Kamala Harris. Barack Obama technically handpicked her. Her brother-in-law is getting rich off of us. And let's not forget, a lot of this started, now the government has always been corrupt, but a lot of this started, really started to destroy the military, all happened under the Kenyan-born lover of men by the name of Barack Obama. The Ukraine war, the coup d'etat that started back in 2014. It technically started back, I think it was 2005 when Barack Obama first came in as a senator. He and another Republican uh, a senator went over to Ukraine and disarmed them. We don't know what they did with the, all of those nuclear weapons that they had. We have been actively engaged in what's been happening in the Ukraine. <laughs> I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian, cold-blooded, <laughs> and go in to win the election. These uh, brave Ukrainians took to the streets in order to stand peacefully against tyranny and to demand democracy. No, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian, cold-blooded, <laughs> and go in to win the election. Uh, uh, there has to be a way to restructure the Ukrainian government in a way that allows the voices of the opposition uh, and those folks on the streets to be heard. I'm more reptilian, cold-blooded, <laughs> and go in to win the election. They made it unstable then, and Russia came in and took over. These are the same people that did Michael Flynn like this. These are the same people that was un behind all of the unmasking of Mr. Trump. So when Nancy Pelosi says she's more reptilian, or they're more reptilian, she's absolutely right. They all are. They said we would lose 30 or 40 seats. What? I didn't know what they were talking about. We, we know our, we're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. You think Hillary Clinton is not a snake? You think Kamala Harris is not a snake? Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, George Bush? All of these globals, all of these people who's been trying to destroy this country, the reason they hate Mr. Trump so much is because he's not one of them. And they're upset because he won't play their games. He don't need their money. And they're upset about it. The only reason they're bashing RFK Jr., a lot of his belief is the same as theirs, but he's against the corruption of the government because of what they did to his father and his uh, uncle. Also, all of the pharmaceutical companies, he's attacking them and the food supply. They don't like that. It should be damaging to you that Nancy Pelosi comes on and says that she is more reptilian. No, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. <laughs> cold blooded. And go in to win the election. I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. Cold blooded. And go in to win the election. No, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. Cold blooded. And go in to win the election. Uh, more plain to you. We talked about a bill in California. It was giving $150,000 to illegal immigrants. And they were going to help them put a down payment on the house. 
She was on the Bill Maher show, and y'all tell me Bill Maher's supposed to be smart. Why do he keep voting Democrats then? But he was on the Bill, she was on the Bill Maher show, and he asked her the question about all of the money being given to the illegals to buy houses. And she said something to the effect that she's trying to make the American dream come true for more people. How about give the freaking money to the damn American citizens? Because as you see, we're suffering under the Biden and Harris regime, but she wants to give it. And then she wants to make the undocumented documented in order to give them $150,000 for a damn house. But that's certainly where California is. Well, uh, let me just say, immigration had always been a bipartisan issue. I refer you to the- But not free housing. Well, that's not free housing. It's it's the American dream being available to more people. But No, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian and cold-blooded <laughs> and go in the window. You vote like, for this law. Well, I don't, I, I'm not familiar with oh. exactly what it is, but making the, uh, the American dream of home ownership available to all people is something we have to do for people. Yeah, very discreet, this isn't just a reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Before you're now. This is before, before you're a citizen. Hmm? This is undocumented. Hmm? This is for the undocumented. Well, what I would like to do is move them to documented. Fact, that so some of you may not know this, but Nancy Pelosi has not always been for open borders. Just like all Democrats have not always been for open borders. In 2008, Nancy Pelosi was against allowing any illegal immigrants over. We need to address the issue of immigration and the, and the challenge we have of, of undocumented people in our country. We certainly don't want any more coming in. We need to address the issue of immigration and the, and the challenge we have of, of undocumented people in our country, we certainly don't want any more coming in. Nancy says she's reptilian. You best believe her. She means exactly what she said. She is very reptilian. She plans on doing what Barack Obama started, and his whole mission was to destroy the country. He was going to revolutionize the country. He's going to make drastic changes. And see, Barack Obama didn't really want Joe Biden to run but the other candidate was so poor, he just went ahead and endorsed him just like he doing. He don't really want Kamala Harris in there, but he's going with their program because they couldn't remove her because of this. Uh, their politic, political schemes always wants to go and play the race card. So they couldn't remove her because all of them would have did the race card. What are y'all removing the black woman for? Skirt, Asian woman, skirt, Jamaican, whatever she may be. But Nancy Pelosi said it better than anybody. She's really saying that the Democrat Party and all of those who's associated, even the ones with the R in front of their name, supporting the Democratic global agenda, they all are reptilian and cold-blooded.